Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Aldrin Nastasio with FlightPath.com. I uh, just want to do a battery test on three new props to the DJI branded, the thrust boosted props for the Phantom 2. And the second one I'll be testing is the MRT 2 Leaf foldable prop. Um, and the third one I will be doing is the same brand, the Gowie MRT, except this one's a 3 Leaf foldable. So these all fold up. Uh, these are all self-tightening props for uh, designed for the Phantom 2. So first up, we have the DJI Phantom thrust boosted props. Uh, just to let you know, all of these uh, tests are going to be run on brand new batteries, so three separate batteries for each. I'm running the DJI Phantom 2 with the H3 3D gimbal uh, with a GoPro uh, as well as a um, video uh, FPV transmitter on board too. So this gives you a little idea as far as weight uh, of the copter. So with these DJI thrust props, the Phantom was able to maintain about a hover around 14 and a half minutes or so. Uh, it went into auto line at 10%, uh, so with 8% uh, battery life. So you could probably get about you know, 15, 15 and a half minutes uh, if you try to maintain hover, but the, the craft will not let you uh, bring it back up uh, when it's below 10%. So let it go down to auto land at 8%, about 14 and a half minutes. 14 minutes auto landing. 14 minutes auto landing at 8. Uh, next one we have is the foldable two leaf props from MRT. And these are all same thing self tightening props. You actually can just leave the prop on uh, folded. Uh, when the motors go, they will expand out uh, just from force. Uh, you don't want to over tighten these when you assemble them. You just want to make they want to make sure that they are able to swivel back and forth. If you over tighten them, then they won't, of course, expand out um, when you start them up. So uh, that goes for the same for the three uh, three leaf prop. So even if they're folded or they're expanded out already, they will um, go ahead and uh, uh, due to force just spin out. For some reason, uh, a small gust of wind uh, takes my copter We're at the 30, uh, about 20, 30 Part feet, one, uh, roll seven, right, or at least roll, yeah, so it rolls right hard, and as I bring it, start bringing it back, I wasn't sure what exactly it was, because the wind wasn't too bad, it was, you know, during, throughout the day, it was about 5 to 10 miles an hour, um, I started bringing the copter, copter back, and as I did that, all of a sudden, the, the craft, uh, dipped and moved forward another you know 20 feet or so um, then I tried countering that again to bring it back to center and all of a sudden it goes down so not sure exactly what it, what happened um, I'm assuming it's something to deal with the props because I didn't have any other issues with the craft uh, with any of the other ones so well that was weird so at 10 minutes So for the last test, I wanted to try the new three-bladed, uh, three-leaf foldable props. Uh, as you can see on startup, it was, um, you know, the, I, I believe the power it takes from the motors to really get these things going um, is, is, is a lot. And you can tell just by the way how it, the, the whole craft kind of snaps and moves trying to spin these, uh, these heavier props to get going. So... Uh, when I did test these, it seemed like that the, the, the motors, in my opinion, were running really hot. So um, 
just you know just an, just a thought. I'm not sure how much more power uh, this is going to really affect or put how much more strain this is going to put on the motor, but it does. You can you know you can really tell that the motors were running hotter than normal, as well as you can see how how much more uh, uh, jerk it put onto the uh, and more strain it puts onto the craft uh, on startup. So unlike the two leaf, this one actually did maintain hover uh, the entire battery life. Uh, this uh, the three prop or three leaf one uh, auto landed at 11 minutes with 10% battery life. Uh, I did try to maintain hover just a little bit more, but around the 11 minute mark is what I got before the craft came in for auto landing. Hope this helps you guys out. Uh, hope to do a, little, a few more videos and see if the, the balancing of the props might be uh, something to enhance battery life or flight time, uh, as well as uh, see if I can find out what's gonna correct that, um, that drift issue. But overall, I think it went pretty well. I think I'm gonna probably stick with the DJI uh, branded uh, props uh, from now on and uh, until something else comes out that I'll be able to test and see if there's anything that I can find beneficial from it. So. Take care, guys. This is Aldrin from flypath.com, and I will be posting up more videos shortly. Thanks.